Mark and I came up with this cool new thing called Drink and Draw. Basically, we spent the summer making a list of suggestive names and provocative sounding descriptions. For this, we'll draw one of those names from a hat, and then discuss what it would entail if it were a drink. Or a sex act. After we decide what would go into the drink, we make it. And after we concoct what would be involved in the sex act, Sarah will draw it. Then we hug. Okay. Mm. And the winner is a dirty fish tank. Ooh. <laughs> is that a drink or a sex act? Only Mark and Sarah know for sure. <laughs> I'm hoping that's not a sex act, but just saying, that's me. My brain's already thinking about what this would be. Of course, you're thinking of the sex act first. That's all I think about. <laughs> first, okay. After I drink. I think about both pretty equally, I think. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> sex acts and drinking. Okay. They actually go together, so we make a day of it or night or have a friend come over while you're doing it. So uh, <laughs> don't do it alone. Drinking or sex acting. Anyhow, especially if whatever you're doing involves dirty, dirty fish, fish tanking. Tanks. So yes. Yeah, dirty fish tanking. Dirty fish tanking. Um, what are you kids doing in there? We're fish tanking. That's dirty. That sounds disgusting. Exactly. All right. For an alcoholic beverage, I'm thinking a dirty fish tank would be something definitely that has like T flex like floating at the like top. Fish food. Like fish food kind yeah. of. And then that would probably stain the alcohol or you could <clears throat> use like a darker alcohol. Well that would give it a green tint, which is kind of the dirty like uh mm -hmm. The, if you want that dirty water. Because it would it would uh, like a, like if you start with vodka, that would turn the vodka green. Mm -hmm. Right? So you get that dirtying, that algae effect okay. as you go. And maybe for, and then throw a goldfish in there. Yeah. You could get like, um, yeah, like have to have like a fish floating at the top. You could get like a goldfish cracker, like one, and then like throw it in the shot glass and it would like absorb the alcohol and Getting then kind late. of get like bloated. So when you take the shot, you have to yeah. swallow it whole. So maybe as soon as it's bloated, then you add the tea leaves. Yeah. Um, and then maybe I think the drink That's... maybe starts out is for the fish tanky thing yeah. is we put a little sprig of dill and uh, whatever okay. we need to do to make it get, go to the bottom and stand up like mm. a little like at the whatever tree. You get like a little yeah dill sprig so, and then. So that's a that's little good. miniature fish tank. Yeah, and it's, and it's a simple drink then. All right, we're gonna go make it now. Yeah, let's make it, and then we'll see if it's good or not. We'll at least get an illustration out of it. <laughs> Either way, it's booze. Booze, more booze. Cool. All right. Okay. We're going to be making the dirty fish tank drink, which isn't going to be a shot. It's going to be kind of a martini, but we're going to be drinking them in glasses kind of like this. So this will be our fish tank. So I'm going to take the, the ice and add it to our shaker here. Oh god. And I'm going to measure one ounce of this fine Kirkland vodka. Add that in. And we got some delicious blue cheese olives. So I'm going to take some of the juice from them and add that in as well. That's probably way more than I needed to, but who doesn't love a little sodium, right? Take a sprig of dill. Let's find a good sprig. Put that in. One goldfish cracker. Last but not least, we've got our um, Jemmy Chow burnt rice uh, Japanese tea. Put like a dash of that in there. Kind of like fish food.
We made the dirty fish tank. It looks kind of like this. So, kind of dirty. Um, definitely got the nasty green tea shit floating around in it. Geeky freaky. Geeky freaky. Wow. That's an interesting taste. It's very uh, earthy. There's a very organic taste. It's not bad. I'm, I'm like... It's, it's salty. very spicy and salty. It's yeah. salty. You totally taste the olive juice. Um. <laughs> Maybe because you put a crap lot of olive juice in here. Um, <laughs> I like um, how the tea settled to the bottom. It looks like the granules at the bottom of the fish tank. Um, this is very pond water looking. This is great. It does actually, it does taste kind of like a yeah. um, fish water would I, smell. I would yeah, think. I'm thinking this is not a shooter, but would in fact be a good a uh, cocktail. Drink. Yeah, something you would sip over time. What, do you don't like it? I don't know. I actually, the tea well, taste is... The aroma reminds me of, like, I'm about to drink green tea. Yeah. And then I'm like, yeah. that's a martini. You, you take martini. a Martini. Mar <laughs> Taste-wise, I say it, it definitely tastes like a, a dirty fish tank would ta yeah, taste like. Yeah, I'd about like, six on taste. But I probably wouldn't order it, it in a restaurant. It could be improved. I guess, I, 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 it just could be improved, maybe. Mm. It's more muddy. Is I think that's it. Uh, it definitely gets muddy at the bottom. I don't really want to gulp uh, green tea leaves. And we could eat it. We could, uh, yeah, just do it on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. Oh my god, you kill me. Oh. She just spilled this on my laptop. Shit. She wrecks my shit. Alright. Oh, somebody's, <laughs> got somebody's gotta wreck my shit. It's a shatter. <laughs> yes, and that's how our pelvis is broke. Yes. <laughs> Pelvises? Yeah, we have the same anatomy. Okay, alright. Um, when I think of a tank of any sort, I'm thinking of it has to do with someone's ass. It's like a padunk dunk. It's like a it's like a dump truck. It's, it's your tank. Yeah, your your butt. So I mean, this would have so to be an. Fish tank. It would be like an anal act of some um, sort. When I think of fish, yes, I think of the vagina. vagina. So we have a butt and a vagina, and I think an ass is dirty as it is. Maybe it's so maybe, somebody rubbing their vagina on your asshole. No, I was going to say, no. Like scissoring. Well, if the fish tank is the vagina and you want to make it dirty, then it, you would fuck the asshole and get your whatever, or whatever, right. all dirty, and then you double dip and go into the vagina and make that all dirty. That's a dirty fish that tank. That would be a dirty fish tank. Okay. That's what makes sense to me. Yeah, I was thinking it's like, the like you know, when you have two lesbians going at it, they scissor, right? Vag to vag, maybe... Don't the dirty fish tank it. is the woman scissors the guy on his ass. That she gets she they, you just get one of those going and that's your you maybe she reaches around and like whatever that is, that's like a, Please, please let me rub my vagina all over your But you couldn't possibly rub your vagina on someone's rectum. Mark. I think if you spread your legs enough, you could get up in the tank but it's in not, there it's, and just grind it away. But I, your, your, I think ass, your asshole is between ass cheeks. Yeah, and but your ass like, is spread out. I mean, you can. If you have a big fat ass, probably that's hard. But I mean, like you, I, no, but remember, you have the the crotches are like kind of these. Yeah, but you're you just, and you're grinding it in there. You just all the fat's gonna kind of move out of the way and. You're gonna get surface to surface contact in there, right? A little bit of lube. You just like, you're just doing it. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, this is. <laughs> you wanted to do this. So. But it is like a Kama Sutra illustration. I think yours would be far more artistic to have like the creepy scissoring going on. Yeah, that's what but I was kind of thinking. Because that's a two-step process that we have to. Unless you just show the final result, like he's like in her, but his dick is all. Black. Well, I was gonna have like, I don't know, like maybe her bent down with her ass in the air, and um, him kind of like holding his dick, like he just like pulled out like doggy style from behind her, but it's like 
there's like steam coming off of it and he's smiling <laughs> and she's looking over her shoulder like oh my god or something and yeah and there's like brown it's like got like a nice brown trim like oh my god maybe like the opening of the the vagina maybe. is like all beckoning and stuff maybe like, you see her butt and he's like yeah his dick's brown but he's like you see that he's ready to go in yeah to her he's all yeah maybe just like and she's like what, looking over what her the fuck are you about to do uh, uh no and he's all like yeah. or i don't know generic indian face like of course i'm going to place this into here it's calling yeah me. that's a tougher one than this is I'll be right back. Where did I do the, the lube? 